So in this video, we are going to look at text to 3D models. So we have Llama Mesh unifying 3D mesh generation with language models. This is a research from Inkwe University and NVIDIA. And we have this example. Let's look at the example and then go through this paper. So if I play this video uh, from the start, we can see that it's Llama Mesh unifying 3D mesh generation with language models. and this is an example of a mesh generation. So for example, can you give me some ideas for storage furniture? Then your LLM will reply as yes, definitely. You can consider using cabinet shelves, chest to store books. You can use cabinets to display decorative items. Here is a 3D model. This is an object file and this is the actual output or diagram that you see using the object file. Another example is I'm trying to create a 3D model for a game of ancient time. Can you help me to create a 3D model of a sword? I'll be happy to help. What kind of sword are you envisioning? Is it a simple design or something more elaborate? A simple design is okay for a start. Let's start with the basic design. And you can see I can generate a 3D model for you. This is a 3D model of the sword. That is amazing. Next, I'm decorating my garden and I need to add some seating. What kind of benches are the most popular? So benches vary, but here's an example of a bench in a park or a garden. That is amazing. Create a 3D object using the following description, a lamp. So this is an example of a lamp 3D object. So we can see text to 3D object is pretty easy. Now it has mesh understanding as well. So if you give an input of an object file, it can recognize that it is a wooden barrel. So what is this shape? You can see that this is a can or 3D metal trash can. So everything is possible here. Now let's go and see the paper in detail. So uh, some more examples you can see that give me some examples of the storage furniture. This is the view you can go and you can rotate this. You can go and see and have this view. We can toggle the text view as well, but this is the 3D view. Another example is I'm trying to create a 3D model for a sword. I've already seen this. Next, mesh understanding. So what is this shape? If you give the input as this, it is going to identify and same as this. What is this shape? This is a pixelated cartoon character wearing a red shirt and black hat. Okay. So let's go to the paper now. Now I've chosen this paper because this is one of the examples of uh, fine tuning a model. So they have used Llama 3.1 8 billion model and they have fine tuned. We are going to look at the process of fine tuning that. But again, it's a pretty seamless fine tuning that they have done. The losses reduction was pretty good and they faced no issues in uh, preparing this model. Now, if we compare and if you have a thought or if you think that GPT or chat GPT would give a response uh, similar to this, you can see that they have compared with ChatGPT as well. So ChatGPT 4.0, this is created 3D object with the following description. So this is the object. And you can see that generation, the mesh rendering is this. While on the other hand, the instruct model, Llama 3.1 instruct 8 billion is uh, this model here. So we can see that even though the model has inherent uh, object, inherent text to 3D identification or creation, but after fine tuning, the results get a lot better. So let's go to the paper. Now what they have done is first uh, of all, they have made a data set and using the data set, they have supervised fine tuning or SFT uh, using three steps. So first step is to generate 3D meshes from the text prompts, then produce interleaved text and 3D meshes output is required and then understand and interpret the 3D meshes. Okay. so. As per the researcher, there has been no attempt, uh, I have not seen as well, to unify the 3D mesh and text generation in a single framework. So let's look at the data set that they have curated. So we filtered the observer's data set to select meshes with a capacity of 500 faces uh, to maintain a manageable computational complexity resulting in 31k total meshes. So this is uh, the data set uh, the training data set. You can see that it has examples of mesh generation as well. So this is the user asking to create a 3D object and the answer the assistant gives an answer of the 3D object here. 
again we say mass understanding uh, give the mesh here users and the assistant gives out a reply in the natural language so this is an example of a data set that is used to fine-tune the model another example is mesh generation here and you can see the user assistant multiple rounds of conversation and then they generate the mesh and you can see that multiple round of conversation user assistant user assistants and ultimately these type of data have been used for fine-tuning the model you can see the losses is pretty good it's pretty linear sort of and there are no sudden hiccups in training the data so we can see that this model is able to produce different kinds of uh, shapes using the same prompt so it's not like that it will always give the same output but it has diverse interpretations now the data set that they've used the they've used mesh generation about 40 percentage of the data set uh, for fine tuning was based on mesh generation mesh understanding is 20 percent and general conversation is 40 percent so this model can do the general conversation as well but it can generate mesh as well and it can understand mesh as well now regarding the training they have done uh, supervised fine tuning using the data set which discussed and the training took about we see 2400 gpu hours and the training was done on 32 numbers of a100 gpus uh, that's an 80 gb gpu for 21k iterations they conducted a full parameter tuning um, adam w optimizer learning rate of e to the power minus five then we have warm-up steps of 30 cosine scheduling and global batch size of 128 and the training time is around thir three days so when we say three days uh three days are you know three days into 24 hours for each hour uh 32 number of 8 gb uh, gpus it's about uh 1.5 dollars so and about uh 3000 i would say about three thousand four hundred dollars and they were able to come up with this model and that's pretty cheap if i would say so the outputs uh, as you can see the their output is pretty good uh, this is the output of the unique 3d this is the output of the mesh excel this is their output llama mesh and you can see it is more detailed and more convincing and good so some of the challenges that we can see here that before the challenge you can see that even though we have trained llama mesh 8 billion using llama 3.1 instruct the researchers were afraid that they might lose the language understanding the model might lose the language understanding if we fine-tune the model on text to 3d but these benchmarks prove that uh, the language understanding has been preserved the model's general knowledge and common sense reasoning and mathematical solving abilities were not harmed while fine-tuning the model and as a way we have fine-tuned the model to generate the obj files as well now this looks like a very good use case to study because if you want to fine-tune your model for any purpose this is how you do it you prepare the data sets you think how you are going to integrate that data set and uh, use that as an input and output to fine-tune the model now there had faced some challenges as well if i highlight the challenge one of the challenge was to convert uh, the to convert uh, the number so when we have this vertices so if i give an example of like the v here so v is the vertice that is the x y z coordinate and f is the faces connecting one two six and five number vertice so this face connects the first vertice the second vertice the sixth vertice and the fifth vertice so that is uh, the example of an obj file but once they have the vertices that has been converted into vertex quantization and that is converted to an integer so that is one quantization that they did this reduces the uh, accuracy of the models but again it's faster and it's cheaper to do that so this was one of the challenges another challenge as i mentioned is that it we may sometimes fear that the language and understanding can decrease and we have indeed seen that there is a decrease in language understanding so we got to be pretty careful about that anyways this is is pretty exciting and uh, these kind of research 
you know takes ai forward therefore i decided to go through this paper and present this to you but if you like this video please subscribe to my channel but if you like this video please subscribe to my channel you can check out the next video on the best coder model which is quen 2.5 32 billion in this video i have shown you how to set that up using olama web ui and uh, using the artifacts feature that's an amazing video please go and watch that otherwise please go to my channel go to the videos and watch out and filter out the videos that you would like to watch thanks for tuning in and this is text to 3d generation i will see you next time